Are you an extraordinary leader? Do you even know what one is? And what are the benefits of being an extraordinary leader? How does that impact your business? My, uh, my video today is about helping you answer those questions. My name is Joe Mavu with Master Life by Design and today's video is the number one quality to be an extraordinary leader and to prevent failure in business. All right, so let's jump in because let's be honest, we all hear about, you know, leadership training and everyone here needs to be a leader in this culture or, you know, who, who is a leader? And I like to break it down and keep it very simple. When we think about leaders and leadership, everyone's a leader. And why is that true? Why, you know, Joe, I don't run this huge company or... I don't, I don't have like this great big following or this YouTube channel or podcast. Like that's not me. I'm not a leader. And I beg to differ. And let's keep it simple. A leader is everyone. And the reason why everyone's a leader is because you have to learn to lead yourself. If you can't lead yourself, how are you going to lead anyone else? Can you make sure that you're well-groomed? Can you make sure that you follow through on the commitments that you determine that are important to you? Right? Are you a leader? Well, the answer is yes. And so you got to ask yourself, how well am I being a leader? Now, what is leadership? And let's keep it simple because this channel is all about keeping it simple. Leadership is the ability to influence. A leader is someone that can influence. Well, you might sit back and say, Joe, not me. <clears throat> Never. Well, let's be honest. You've influenced yourself many times on what you want to eat for dinner. You've influenced yourself a lot of times to hopefully shower and brush your teeth, do some hygiene, right? Hopefully you've influenced your friends. Here's a whole nother level of leadership. But you influence your friends on what movie to watch, where you should go, who you should hang out with, what time you guys should connect. You are a leader. Now, let's talk about this in the business context, right? Because I, I get it, like there's the CEO, there's a the C-suite, the, the mid-level managers, right? We have this hierarchy within an organization within a business or a company. And you might sit there and say, well, Joe, I'm a solopreneur, which is awesome because you need to lead you. But my guess is you outsource things and you need to be able to lead them. And so can you, if you're in this big company or if you have a team of people and you're leveraging, right? The biggest thing you want to do when you're working with a team and how to not allow your business to fail is as a great and extraordinary leader, you got to be able to influence your people on finding and coming up with solutions. Now, here's the thing. Most of the time, what I hear when I'm coaching CEOs or C-suite executives and all that good stuff, <clears throat> I hear the same thing all the time. Joe, all they do is bring me problems. And so I ask them, I say, great, well, what do you do? You know, that's awesome. They're bringing you problems, right? They're, they're putting the spotlight. They're putting something under that microscope for you. And so I ask, what do you do? And you're like, well, I do whatever I need to do to get the problem resolved. And I said, uh-huh, okay, there's your problem. And they're like, what do you mean? How's that my problem? I'm, I'm, I'm knocking out the solution for the problem that they're bringing me. That's, that's a good thing. I say that's one way of looking at it, but the other way is that it's not a good thing. <clears throat> See, what makes an extraordinary leader, the number one quality is that they actually empower their people to go out and find a solution, come up with a solution, generate and act on that solution. So many people enable the the uh the employee or the team member or the partner because they do the work for them they say they train them they're conditioning them bring me your problem <clears throat> i will solve it and so that's like giving a man a fish right instead we all heard that or at old adage that if you want a man to to live a lifetime right you don't give them a fish you teach them how to fish right and so what we want to do is we want to make sure that we're empowering our people. An extraordinary leader empowers their team to come up with solutions and answers. And it might get a little bit uncomfortable. I can't tell you how many times 
This has happened to me in my career and in my businesses, and I had to learn this lesson. See, I remember many years ago when I was in network marketing, I had this desire to build a huge team and have 10, 20, 30, 100 grand or more a month coming in in my network marketing business. And so <clears throat> what I would do is I would stay up till 2, 3 in the morning just pouring into people, pouring into people. They come to me with a challenge or a problem and I'd say, here, let me do it for you. Let me show you how it's done. i pick up the phone. Now you might sit there and say, Joe, that's awesome. You're actually setting the example for them. That's a good thing. And you're right. But here's where it's a problem. I didn't do it just once. I did it every time. And that was what was enabling them. If you're consistently problem solving and giving solutions for your team instead of allowing them to think and empowering them to think you're going to be just like me where i would pour in i wanted this great business but i enabled them instead of empowered them and then and so i felt like man i i felt like i was winning and that they were going to go out and produce but they actually then failed and quit on me and on themselves you know two weeks later and so i would feel this pain i feel this like Oh, and I used to think to myself, like, what am I doing wrong? And I'd see all these other people growing and it just, I watched their income grow up and go up and they would, they would celebrate them. And I was just sitting here frustrated, like, what do I do? <clears throat> but then I started learning from, in that time, my upline and I watched him develop leaders, helping them figure it out, allowing them to make mistakes and picking back up. And so I learned those skill sets after I transitioned from network marketing into professional coaching. And so I now use that today. I have an amazing team of coaches that, you know, we have, we have clients that are in a struggle or a challenge and, or their business isn't thriving or their performance isn't at peak performance. And so these coaches that work with us, I always empower them to find their solution, to see what's the challenge and what do you think we should do about it? An extraordinary leader gets this, it's kind of like a professional coach. He, he gets them to think about what's the solution. And so train your team. Now, if you wanna be an extraordinary leader, train your team that when you bring a problem, bring three solutions to it with you. And it gets uncomfortable, right? <clears throat> you might sit there and, hey, you know, hey boss, I got this going on. I don't, you know, the 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 web say the website's not working properly. And instead of saying, hey, did you call the dev team or anything like that? You could say, great, what do you think we should do? What are three things we could do? Right? Oh, I could log in in the back office and see, but I'm not really a tech guy. Great. Maybe we could hire someone. Great. Or maybe we could call our dev team, even though it's 12 hours difference, to see if they're up and maybe fix it real quick for us. Great. Which one do you want to execute on first? Let's do number three. Okay, great, awesome. And so an empowering leader, not just it helps them come up with the solutions or allows them to come up with the solutions, but he also breathes life into his team, to his people, right? He's got to breathe life into him. And what do I mean by breathe life into him? You got to empower, you got to speak words of victory, of life, of success over him, you know? And so even though my son, who's three years old, he doesn't do everything right, right? He's still learning coordination and life and all these great things at that age. And so when he falls, I teach him, when you fall, what do we do about it? And he says, get back up, right? And I'm teaching him a life principle. It's not just when he falls off his bike or he falls down from running to physically get back up. I'm also training him. I'm not enabling him. I don't pick him up unless it's something serious, right? But I don't pick him up. I have him, hey, did you learn? Yeah, what do we do when we fall? We get back up and he gets back up. That's teaching him in life. When night life knocks you down mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, that you gotta get back up. It's a, it's a physical metaphor for life. And that's what you wanna do for your team. And then when he, my son gets back up, I'm sitting there, I'm like, great job, bud. You took a hard hit, but you're so strong in watching you get back up and the effort you've made, I'm proud of you. Right. Or if it's your team, you might sit there and say, like, hey, come up with these solutions, check it and say all of a sudden, hey, maybe these work out, maybe they don't. But what I want you to know is that you did a great job coming up with solutions and coming to me with the solution and not only the problem. It takes some getting used to. It takes some conditioning. It might be a little awkward, but you're training your team and empowering them and not enabling them. If you enable your team, your business will fail. 
It's only a matter of time. Here's how I know that, other than seeing this over the last decade, is that there's only so many problems that you can put out at one time. And if you're gonna scale your business to grow to seven, eight, nine figures, or maybe even 10, right? If you're gonna do that, you can't do that by just you. You have to leverage, you have to scale, and the bigger a company gets, the more problems that come up and you can't be the end all answer and eventually you'll burn out. And so you need to be able to empower your team and not enable your team. So if you find yourself in this position where you're like, Joe, I can't, I can't help it, I don't know what to do, I can't break free of it, or how do I do this, how do I implement this, how do I condition my team? You might be primed for one of our peak performance coaches. So go out and fill out the application in the one-on-one -on -one coaching application in the description below. But most importantly, if you found value in this video, you have really like, Joe, you knocked it out of the park. Give me a thumbs up or a comment below. I would love to hear it. And for you, if you want more of this, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell right next to it so you can be notified when these videos come out. We're doing three videos a week for the most part. Sometimes it's two, depending on you know how life is, right? But we're coming out with three videos a week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. And so with that, I look forward to hearing about how you guys are empowering your teams and scaling your business instead of enabling your teams and keeping a limited success rate for your company or for your business and income. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Go out, make today count. See you soon.